Civilian deaths are up under Donald Trump. I'm Tim Black for TV TV. A nonprofit organization that tracks civilian casualties created by airstrikes in the Middle East said it has shifted nearly all its resources to track a surge of claims regarding U.S. led strikes in Syria and Iraq. The group called Airwars.org had been tracking deaths caused by both Russian and U.S. airstrikes, but said in a statement Friday that it was spending its work on alleged, suspending its work on alleged Russian casualties from actions in Syria so as to better focus on the limited resources, continue to properly monitor and assess reported casualties from the U.S. and its allies. So previously they were looking at the Russian civilian fallout. Now they're looking at U.S. fallout. And since they don't have resources to do both, they now want to monitor the U.S. and allied forces fallout civilian death count. Almost 1,000 civilians, non-combatant deaths, have already been alleged from coalition actions across Iraq and Syria in March. And we're still in March. This is a record claim. These reported casualty levels are comp comparable with some of the worst periods of Russian activity in Syria. In the last week, three mass casualty incidents have been attributed to the U.S. in Iraq and Syria, making March one of the most lethal months for civilians in the last two years against the Islamic State. Okay, a little more perspective. On Thursday, Iraqi media reported that an airstrike in Mosul killed more than 200 people. This is the one that was talked about a lot on social media just over the last couple of days. The Pentagon is investigating the claims. After the fall of Aleppo to Syria and to Russian forces in December, the recent escalation of the U.S.-led campaigns against the Islamic State in Mosul and Raqqa Claims of, of civilian casualties caused by American-led forces has outstripped those caused by Damascus, <clears throat> by Damascus and the Kremlin, according to Air Wars. According to Air Wars, more than 2,500 civilians have been killed by the U.S.-led coalition, which, is, which has admitted to only killing 220. <clears throat> Okay, in recent months, the Pentagon said it has taken strides to investigate a backlog of claims while starting to release monthly civilian casualty assessments. The decision to temporarily, temporarily suspend our Russia strike assessments has been a very difficult one to take, Chris Woods, the director of Air War, said in a statement. Moscow is still reportedly killing hundreds of civilians in Syria every month. But what coalition casualty claims escalating so steeply with very limited air wars resources, we believe our key focus at present needs to be on a U.S.-led alliance. So they're saying, folks, that American troops and allies are killing so many people at such a rapid level that they no longer can afford to monitor Russia we're doing most of the killing. Civilian, non-combatants. Now, a little bit more context to this. There's an article on CNN. So you know it's going to be very Obama-friendly. This was taking a snapshot of a 21-month period. Title, 1,900 civilians killed in Iraq in 21-month 21 21 period, report says. Nearly 19,000 civilians were killed in Iraq between January 2014 and October 2015, a toll the United States called staggering. The report released outlines the horrific impact that Iraq's ongoing conflict is having on its civilian population. So you can look that up. It's, uh, I put, you know, I'll put that in the link description for anyone who wants to, uh, delve further into it so here's the deal I, I don't know what we what we really take away from this other than yes we're killing people we're killing civilians in Syria we're killing civilians in Iraq and it's ongoing and 
I don't know exactly what, how much blame you put on Trump for it. I, I do understand that military doesn't stop. Military campaigns doesn't stop because of a new switch in government. But it's been a while. It's been 100 days. It's time Trump get his arms around whatever's going on here in Syria and what's going on in Iraq because obviously something's amiss. And we're doing a lot of missing, apparently. You know where I stand. I wish we just bring our people home. I wish we just end all of this ISIL chasing around the globe, racking up casualties that do nothing but what? Create more ISIL, more ISIS. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. But what I do, what, what I would like to say is we need to get away from this idea. A lot, of, a lot of Trump supporters don't want to admit what's going on because they're guys in the office now. Let me tell you something. Um, right is right, wrong is wrong. Death is death. Right? That's what's happening. So for us to, oh no, it's just a fabrication because they want to smear Trump. I don't think that, uh, I don't think this organization... Airwars.org, airwars.org uh, is out to get Trump. They're out to expose the death of civilians. Once again, I'm Tim Black for TBTV. Subscribe to this channel and comment in the comment section. Let me know what you think about these reports.